Bay Area man says he will also never forget 9-11 or the image that he saw as a jet crashed into the World Trade Center. He spoke with 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Klo about the minutes that made the difference between life and death. Every day I wake up out of bed, I'm like, I can't believe I'm here. That's because Anthony Morrow was inside the South Tower minutes before the second plane hit. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Morrow was 107 floors above the street working on the observation deck. I looked out the window and I'm just seeing smoke. The engineer come up and got us because we were locked in up there. If he didn't come and get me, I wouldn't be doing this with you right now. Just ran around from the South Tower to the north side of the tower and we saw the building was destroyed. I said, let's get in the elevators. Morrow tells me that's when he heard announcements telling people to go back into their offices. A small plane had hit the other building, but they didn't turn around. And as soon as I got out the revolving door, you know, you couldn't help looking up at the North Tower burning. The second one came right over our heads, man. And when that plane hit, those flames were like bright orange right over our head. The whole bottom of the aircraft, I saw the direct hit and the explosion. Morrow and his co-workers scrambled across the street under construction planks. I don't know how we didn't get hit with anything, but we got under those planks and leaned against Deutsche Bank wall and just watched this whole explosion. Finally, I said to my partner, and I said, look, let's get in the subway because at least if stuff's flying around, we won't get hit. And we made it into the subway and a train pulled in and the doors opened. I said, get in and let's go wherever this train is going. Making it out of Manhattan physically, mentally. It was a nasty situation. People started panicking and running. People were having heart attacks in the street. We were in shock for a while. A shock that's left an impression decades later. Well, I always see the plane hit. I always remember that hit, that explosion. That lives with you forever. It changes your life. It lives with you forever.